All right, we're back in GeoGuessr, and we're going to be doing the Canada map again on five minutes. Last time, I believe I did four minutes, and one of them I didn't get properly, but I could have uh, probably gotten a perfect score with another minute. So, let's hope this is long enough. This seems like it should be easy because we're on a highway crossing over another highway, and I think this is probably in western Alberta. Or possibly part of BC, but I don't know what part of BC would have a highway like this that I'm not familiar with. Because I don't remember ever being here. But it looks like we're probably at the foothills of the Rockies. Um, yeah, because this is west towards the Rockies. So I'm going to probably assume this is Highway 16. It can probably be like yeah there's mountains to our west and it's a four lane divided highway it can only be highway 16 or highway 1 from what I remember and I don't think this is highway 1 and the trees are too small like this looks like it's up north so I'm just gonna go this way a little bit and see if I can find any town name or anything. If not, I'll go the other way. Uh, the problem is there's not a lot of towns up in this area. It looks like we have a town up ahead here. Oh, we're actually in Quebec. Okay, I didn't even think about the mountains there. So this is going to be harder than I thought it would be. Because I don't know um, Quebec... Uh, towns really or or like highway numbers or even the system if they have a system even uh, to name the highways I don't think I got Quebec last time at all because um, for sure that's the province that I'll struggle with the most partially just because of the language and then I'm just not familiar with a lot of the uh, the places there. 465 should be the other highway, right? Um, but the highway, like the color on the map is green. Um, so we're going s southwest, and then it was going west earlier. Could be any of the... Oh, actually, yeah, since it's a freeway, though, it's probably this or this. 40 or... They don't have a number for Trans-Canada. Okay, Kamaraska, that sounds to me more like a native name than a French name, but I'm not sure, so. And I don't even know what part of Quebec this could be in. At least we know the province, but which, with such a big province, it doesn't help much. At least once we get this... It, I just have to find that road that we were driving over. So Bath, St. Laurent, I don't even know how to say that. Um, it could be close to the river, hopefully. That would make sense, though, for the, the um, direction the highway is going. Oh, this is Kemeraska. Um So we're going southwest. Okay, what were we crossing over here? This could be anything, honestly. I think that number was the exit number, not the uh, highway that we're going on to. Do they not? They don't say it for Quebec. Other provinces, it says the name of these roads, but I'm going to say this is this road. Uh, looks similar, I think. Don't we have a... I thought I saw a train track. Yeah, there. There's a railroad crossing. Let's check the angle of the highway. Or the direction, I should say. Oh, we're going more north, uh, more north though, so it might be... 
Is it this one? No, there's no entrance. Or it could be... Okay, come on. I don't... Uh, okay, we're out of time. I just hope that's correct. Come on. Yes! Okay, that was just a guess because I wasn't exactly sure where, uh, what this road could be. And, yeah. I, I don't know how much more I could have looked around since I knew the area and... I don't know, I'm not familiar with Quebec, as I said. Um, this is Vancouver area, I know. I don't know where. But I want to say it's like Surrey or Richmond. Actually, it might be Richmond. But for sure, Vancouver area. So hopefully I should get this quick since I live in the Vancouver area. Number one road is Richmond. And Williams, okay. So number one is this one, and Williams down here. So this is number one, we're going north, or this one's going north, we're facing north. We are over here. There should be Jehovah's Witness building, I think it's this. Yeah, so we're right here. Where are we in relation to this building? can't really see but probably the back of it I mean the like right at the back lined up with the back wall yeah oh, okay that was very close wow all right that was pretty fast that round like a minute or something so doing well so far this one okay and this is where um, probably you're gonna lose the perfect score could be BC again I definitely I'm like 90% sure that it's BC. And the other 5% is Alberta, and then the rest of the 5% is mixed between like Quebec and maybe Northern Ontario. Okay, there are houses, so I think we're probably close to some city or town. Okay, this might not be as hard as I thought. Just have to find out what part of BC this is. Yeah, these mountains are definitely BC. I would say somewhere like, uh, oh, Rocky Point Road. Is this, um, like, no, I was going to say it's like Port Moody area, like near Vancouver, but no, this is too rural for that. This looks really nice, and yeah, so now I'm 100% sure it's BC. I still don't know where, but I'm going to say this is probably the coast, not just a big lake. So originally I was going to say like maybe around Kelowna or something, but okay. Hopefully there's another junction or something. Might be a town up ahead. I don't think this is a provincial highway though. Um, most provincial highs, highways would have a double yellow or a dotted or something, but it wouldn't just be a single yellow. Blind Bay. Okay, I know where that is. Okay, so we're not on the coast. We're uh, here, somewhere. Here. And... Sorry about the train in the background, but yeah, we're going south, so I think we're on this part of the road. Rocky Point Road's up here. Okay. So, now we just have to find where this thing is, because it was a... There's a curve to the right, curve to the left as you go northeast. Oh, this is going back that way, but... Okay, so in the middle of the curve, you're going up like this. As you go north, okay. 
And then there's a... What? Oh. Could be up here? Or no. Oh, I can't remember. Maybe we were not on... No, we weren't on that main road. This is a side street, yeah. Okay, so it's a dead end, which is kind of helpful, actually. I think it's this Duncan Road. Duncan Road, and then there's a McBride Road that branches off. Ah, I thought that was a road. Got me excited there. So northeast. No. Okay, this is hard now. I thought I was hopeful there that uh, we we're gonna get it, but turns out this is actually kind of hard. Unless we can find a street sign. Oh, maybe this was Rocky Point Road that we were on. I I thought I remember crossing it, but. I don't think I'll be able to get a... come on. This will be annoying if I don't get it because I, I got the area. Oh, come on, I want to go there. There we go. Oh, we were on Rocky Point Road, damn it. Yes! I just, last second, I saw that curve there, uh, where there's the two curves, and I went in between. Yeah, because I, I think I went, yeah, I was thinking we were on a different road, but, and then at first I was thinking we were still on this Eagle Bay Road, but Eagle Bay Road was paved, so. All right. So we're still uh, at a perfect score so far. And this one... This could actually be BC again. Uh, it could also be a lot of places. Uh, so you don't really see uh, mountains, I guess. Actually, yeah, I can't. Okay, this is going to be annoying if this entire road's like this. Where it's like one click puts you about a foot ahead. Uh, I think this could actually be somewhere in Ontario now that I'm, yeah, I don't know. Okay, so I don't make the mistake I did last time. This road is Peninsula Drive, that should be relatively easy to remember, and we're on Frank Hill Road, and it looks like there's a crest there that it could be, oh, they're blurring it out, I think it could be some other some type of provincial highway. Or, uh, um, I think Ontario has county roads too. Okay, no parking. So I would assume that we're kind of close to an urban area or suburban area. If they're saying no parking is because I don't know, I think it's kind of implied on highways, rural highways, that you can't park there. Um, who knows? Maybe other provinces are different. But, uh, in BC, normally no parking signs are only in urban areas, from what I've noticed. Oh, I just saw a phone number. I don't know a lot of area codes in Canada, though, so I don't know how much help this will be. 705, yeah, that's not going to help at all. Or, yeah. Um, yeah, you don't really see provincial flags outside of Western Canada, I don't think, except for Quebec. But I don't know how much Ontario likes to wave their own provincial flag. Okay, this um, only has the seven-digit phone number, no area code, so that makes me think, yeah, it's kind of a rural area now. 
probably far away from a city too because if it was closer to a city you'd probably have the area code in there so it is not, not completely flat so this could be a lot of places honestly Frank Lee I don't think that's going to be the name of the the town so hopefully this I forgot about the slow movement but I want to get back to the road like the main road, Frank Hill or whatever it's called. Oh god, this is gonna be... I don't know why sometimes Streetview does stuff like this. It's kind of a, a very annoying, especially for this game. But um, this road uh, it might have some kind of clue up ahead because it looks like it gets more rural here, so maybe we'll get a sign saying, like, entering whatever place. Patricia something? Yeah, I don't know. The first round and the last round was just like a lucky like last minute kind of guess and I didn't really analyze too much. This one I'm probably just gonna have to drop the thing in some random location. I don't even... oh crap. Come on, I thought I saw uh, a sign, whatever. This one might have something important, though. Please. Yes, I think it's an entering some town sign. Kawartha Lakes, that's where we were last time, too. Uh, that's the one I screwed up, so they're going to screw me over again. Frank Hill Road, come on. Of the lakes is big though, it could be anywhere here. I don't know. Oh, it's down there. Okay. Yeah, that would have taken me a while to find. Um, I think last time we were in this Lindsay. Yeah, so n no perfect score again, thanks to Kawartha Lakes. And this one looks like it's going to be hard too, because I feel like this is... Oh no, lower uh, speed limit's going down, so maybe we are in a town. And I don't... I think this sign is uh, maybe Alberta or something. BC doesn't have these. I think the slow t ahead signs in BC say kilometers or maximum or something on them it's not just the number with the arrow yeah maximum 70 BC is say maximum uh, maximum 70 kilometers so that uh, leaves out oh I was gonna say okay New Brunswick I was gonna say this was either like northern Alberta or somewhere in Ontario but 485 I feel like New Brunswick probably has lots of small highways especially this is um, three digit one like quite a high number yeah this is this is gonna be tough I don't know any um, how any provinces do the highway numbering I don't even really know how BC does them even though I live here so I don't know if there is the pattern or if it's just based on how uh, when they were built Yeah, the thing I like about doing uh, the U.S. GeoGuessers is you get these highways that have, like, a pattern to the naming normally. I don't know about with the state highways, but with the federal highways, they definitely do. So I can't find this highway, but we have a town named St. Paul. Hopefully that's a big town, but I've heard of only, like, five cities in New Brunswick or something, so... No, St. Paul. Yeah, I feel like... Um, oh no, this is... I think the um, hyphen thing is more French. Because I don't think they do that in for English names. So it's probably closer to Quebec.
I don't know, some of these have hyphens and some don't, so I don't know what that could mean. Um, so the 400 number highways though were over here. There's so many Saint something, Saint, uh, okay, Saint Paul. Oh, 485, okay. Okay, maybe, and then this one, oh, shit, I passed it. So since this is a provincial highway, maybe this one has a number. Moncton, Mir Miramichi, however you say that. I have heard of that. So Miramichi's up here somewhere, and Moncton's down here. So 485 to St. Paul. I think this is where we are. Is there a church? Oh. I think that could be that building. Um, why is there no number on this sign, though? Oh, no, this was... What the hell? Where did that... Come on. That sign just disappeared. Okay, so I'm going to have to look at it from here. Could that be 126? I think it could be. And it's blue, like this. So, do they just like not put up signs? I don't know, they should have a sign here. Like, it should have been, I know they put one up, but you would think they would have had one all the time, like since they built the highway, but apparently not. So, I'm gonna say that we were up here along this road somewhere but I have no idea where so I'm not gonna get perfect on this one either yeah cuz the speed limit went down for this thing I think so can we find this creek you know what would help a lot would be if we had like a topographical map that showed where the hills are that would really really make it easier on the map. It's kind of cheating though. Not cheating, but it would make it too easy maybe. Yeah, that was very close, but it doesn't matter since we didn't get the Ontario one. And I have no idea how I'm supposed to get this unless if I found the river, but that would have been a while. So, uh, almost perfect again. This one is a bit off. And this one I was a bit off. I'm very happy with this one that I just kind of guessed it and it worked. This one was kind of a last minute guess and it worked. And then this one I knew just because I live nearby. And I thought there was one in Alberta, but I guess not. Oh yeah, no, yeah. Okay, well thanks for watching. I'm probably going to do another Canada map or another US map after this. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.